What's up, guys? It's Cove back again. So, disclaimer, real quick before we start this video. Um, so there wasn't any information about when the Yo tanks were getting released uh, yesterday when I read that article. Uh, I reread the article and it literally does not say that they're just gonna release them. You know, I don't know the next day. And yesterday, the article was titled, Yo Tanks Are Coming. And today, it says, Yo Tanks Are Here. So, I mean... That's my bad. I didn't think that they would, uh... Have already released those Yo Tanks. So, with that being said, let's get into the point of today's video. <laughs> which is, the upcoming... Uh, challenge or whatever it's called mission marathon that's what we're thinking of for the wz 114 what is it called let's find a hidden tire yes 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 yes, yes. Uh, well i'm not gonna look through the missions because you should hopefully already understand that it is almost never worth it to take all of the hours out of your day to complete all of these missions in a 10 day period especially with clan wars coming up however this event should be ending around the same time that the clan war season is starting however i don't believe there's any chance for you to get any more bonds before like a group amount of bonds before you can start playing the Clan Wars campaign. Now, is this uh, tier 9 premium heavy tank worth the $100 price tag that they're going to throw on it? No. No, I can almost guarantee you it is not worth $100 for some pixels in a game that can make bonds and credits at the same time. Uh, I do think Wargaming actually has put the uh, best equipment on it for the tank and uh, so if you do go ahead and play through the entire thing you will have what I think to be probably the best equipment and you'll see why when we look at the stats in a minute but first impressions of the tank I mean it it looks uh, ironically like a yo American heavy honestly it looks a lot to me like a really big gun on the M3Y. Um, but, again, this tank is going to cost around 100 US dollars to purchase. And it is not going to be worth it whatsoever. It's, it's good-ish. It's good at some things. It's bad at others. So, well... What does it compare to, you might ask? Come on. Find it, too. There it is. Okay. Well, I'm going to compare it to the two closest tanks. This ones that have similar alpha, similar amounts of gun depression, and mobility. Obviously. This really does seem like it has kind of like a tank destroyer-esque gun. Like a... Um, Almost like a, a 263 would have with really bad aim time and accuracy, but this tank doesn't have bad accuracy, so. Uh, obviously, DPM, worst of the three, because of the 3.13 <laughs> rounds per minute rate of fire. Yikes. That's bad, guys. For only 530 alpha, that's pretty bad. It's almost like this should have been on a test server, just like the Yo tanks. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh, it does have 130 caliber, just like the E75 and the 60TP, for whatever reason, though. Instead of uh, the 130 that the 50TP has with 560 alpha, it has 530 alpha, which is the same as the 128 millimeter gun on the E75. Now the penetration is much better than the E75 and significantly better than the 60TP. 
And I believe that also goes over to the premium rounds. Nope, they're about the same on all three. Never mind. Just forget I even mentioned the premium rounds. Premium rounds are forgettable when you have 266 millimeters of base pen. They are AP shells, so they do not have uh, the same kind of arc that you would get with a heat round or a um, APCR round, where APCR rounds basically shoot straight and heat rounds lob more. There's somewhere in the middle of that. You will lose the pin over distance just like you would with an APCR, but I don't think it's as noticeable with AP rounds. Uh, it does have really good shell velocity for a 130 millimeter <laughs> round firing at a tank with nearly 1300. And uh, yeah, ammo capacity is pretty good also. So you're not going to run out of shells and you should be able to take uh, plenty of shells. And this is where it starts to get weird with this comparison. So it's more accurate than the two comparable heavy tanks at this tier with a 0.32 accuracy, which you could get down to like 0.29 accuracy on a gun with 530 alpha. However, <laughs> It has an aim time of nearly four seconds, which is as bad or worse than the Caliban. No, it's not as bad as the Caliban, but it's nearly as bad as the Caliban, and that is not good. Well, it's, if it has such a, a god-awful aim time, it's got to have uh, good dispersion values when moving and turning the turret, right? Haha, <laughs> wrong so much worse than either of the other two tanks in this compar comparison. The E75 has amazing gun handling for a tier 9 heavy tank and the 60TP has just slightly worse in the dispersion after firing. I mean you have a 19 second reload but 7 se 7 value on the dispersion after firing is ridiculous. However this tank does pack 10 degrees of gun depression with quite chalky armor that we're going to look at here in a second. That's 2 degrees more than you'd get on the E75 or the 50TP, which are already pretty decent at working ridgelines, but 10 degrees just is so much more flexible than 8, which is weird because it's only 2 degrees, but uh, it has a fully functioning turret and 20 degrees of gun elevation which is great if you've ever played the e75 and tried to shoot something that is above you now mobility is garbage not in this comparison but it is garbage in general it has the same it basically has the same kind of mobility with the exception of uh, medium to the the 60 t or the 50 tb and soft with the uh, E75. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure the E75 just has better soft resistances because it is a tech tree tank and you have to upgrade tracks and you have upgradable tracks and engines. Now, the horsepower per ton is better than E75, worse than 60 or 50 TP. Uh, it has quite a low top speed of 33 even for the super heavy comparison. Um, Turret Traverse is the exact same as the E75 and pretty comparable track traverse to the 50TP, but with the ground resistances, it's going to be worse, it would appear from tanks gg which is weird this tank uses different hidden stats that overrun it okay cool now hull armor is not bad turret armor is very good um it has a astronomical amount of hit points probably because they gave you no room to run 
uh, improved hardening on this tank. Uh, your engine health is actually really good, which is always a great thing, especially if you've ever played the E75 and you know how much that tank gets its engine taken out. Ammo rack and track health are a little low, so you're probably... They're lower than the E75, so you're going to get ammo racked and tracked more than you would in the E75, especially because you can't run hardening, so you're not going to have the extra track health and the extra repair speed from the, the hardening because if you you really you have to run a, a gun laying drive on this tank almost with vertical stabilizers because your 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 gun's just so bad except for the accuracy and alpha damage um camo it was never going to have any camo so you shouldn't have expected that to change uh, it does have 390 view range which is it's not bad but it's not great at tier 9 uh, radio range doesn't matter, but it does have a 15% fire chance, so if you do want to run a premium consumable, you are somewhat safe to, especially since the engine health is so much higher than the E75. So if you felt comfortable running food in an E75, you should feel comfortable running food in this tank. Now the shell cost of 1200 is actually really good considering you're gonna have nearly a 20 second reload on this tank if there's ever a tank that i would urge you to put bounty equipment on to make it competitive it would be one of these kinds of tanks with 10 degrees of gun depression and a massive gun a uh, purple gun lane drive and a purple rammer are gonna make this tank ridiculously better so just something to 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 put out there and i mean it could be almost broken if you do that so uh, it's also an assault heavy so it'll have assault heavy field mods and um, a additional um, slots which i believe are mobility and firepower on assault heavies if i'm not mistaken maybe it's Maybe that's all heavies. Who knows? You guys definitely do. I don't. Um, the armor profile of this tank. What a surprise. It has 300 millimeters of frontal turret armor. It actually has 195. It's just effective at 300. And then you have these two little tiny plates of 300 right next to the gun mallet. Which also go down to like 265. <laughs> um, the side armor on this tank is absolute hot garbage so um yeah don't heat don't don't shoot heat at the side of this tank ever honestly i wouldn't shoot heat at this tank at all <laughs> because there's a weak point on top of the turret that is only 150 millimeters and it's rather large if you look at it in game i mean it is quite prominent how Ever, if they're on a corner, oops, if they're on the, a corner hiding this, you can also see this, which is also a weak point. And the top of this is only 80, or the, uh, the middle, this little middle bend right here is only 85 millimeters thick. And so it actually has uh, less effective armor than the rest of the cupola, cupola. So if you hit it in the middle, you're pinning HE shells or high high pin he shells on that um uh, the upper plate on flat ground is almost garbage well against its own shells it is very bad against other tier nines with only like 240 250 millimeters of pen and the mediums aren't going to stand a chance uh they're only the, the other heavies are only going to pin you about half the time especially if they shoot over here over here somehow it does have kind of like a wedge shaped hole so if it's over angling you can pin this all day uh, also something you need to be worried about if you're trying to come around a corner is that you're going to stick out a lot but you can bait people into shooting up here at a, like just around this and if you see somebody's firing heat you can just poke out your track and try and absorb a shot there as you can see here this is what i was talking about there's a spot up here that's 
85 millimeters, yep. Uh, the rear of the tank doesn't have any armor. Also, it actually has the exact same armor as the side. However, this tank is going to be massacred by Artie. It only has 30 millimeters across the top of the tank. So if you get above this tank, you don't even have to shoot it in the hole. <laughs> Just, you can spam HE through its top deck and merc this thing. Like, absolutely murder it. However, if you're not above it, and it is above you, you can still shoot the weak point, but it might be a difficult shot, and this is what you're going to have looking at you. Pretty much all over, 350 to 400 to up to 600 meters, or millimeters, of impacted, effective armor. Now, I don't know what this is right here that is showing 250 millimeters of effective. It looks like it just has like a little jut out right there. So I guess you could also shoot that, but I would still take the bigger target <laughs> of the Coppola that this thing will just not be able to hide. So back and forth on ridge lines. Make sure your Coppola doesn't get hit in your garbage $100 tank. No, is this tank worth it? Fuck no. <laughs> None of these tier 9 premium tanks are worth it unless you are just so pressed for time that you cannot grind bonds and credits at the same time. Then I guess they're somewhat worth it to those people, but you're not going to be able to get any discounts hardly because you're that press for time so you're not going to be able to get the tank at a cheaper price than a hundred dollars or at least like 70 80 bucks us so my friends up north in canada you're going to be paying well over 100 dollars for this tank for at least the first stage even if you only complete one stage you're probably still paying over 100 bucks not 100% sure about how the how the comparison is there, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's still more expensive in Canada than it is in the United States. But this is just a weird, weird tank. Now, I like the look of this tank. I'm not going to pay $100 for it. And... It's not terrible. It's not great. It's got weird stats. <laughs> and uh, I think you're not going to see very many of them, just like you don't see very many stir, uh, stir case. So, my second Is It Worth It video is complete. <laughs> this tank is not worth it. Do not buy it. If you don't have the money to spend, don't buy it. If you don't have the time to play, don't buy it. You, like, it, it, it's pixels in a video game, people. Pixels in a video game. Uh, honestly, though, you got one more season of ranked. If you if you're wanting a, a tank that's rather similar to this, just with the. Uh, Maybe not 300 millimeters of turret armor that you're still going to have to play from a distance because you have a 3.4 second aim time, even if you're using a, a gun lane drive. It, this thing is just ridiculous. In good way and a bad way. Like, it's just so weird. I don't think it's worth 100 bucks. <sighs> so, I mean, do... Do what you want with your money, but I don't think this is it. <laughs> your DPM is atrocious. Your aim time is atrocious. Your armor is not that good because of your weak point. Your lower plate is garbage. Your side armor is garbage. Your rear armor is garbage. And your roof armor is going to get destroyed by Artie if they hit you. Um, it just, I don't, it's not. No. <laughs> um, I 
2300 hit points is really nice the mobility is not terrible it's not good but it's not terrible it's not chinese at all this is not how chinese tanks are though this is a weird weird tank so does make bonds does make extra credits does make more experience and crew training so it is a good crew trainer for both tier 10 chinese heavy tanks as it does have the exact same crew loadout um it was never actually built of course it wasn't i don't even think there's probably there's probably no blueprints for this tank either but with that being said don't buy <laughs> this awful tank um I'm sorry about yesterday's video uh, with the uh, with the, the the idea that it was going to come out in uh, in a month. Uh, the the new tech tree. I didn't think about that whatsoever. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't buy this tank, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.